Well, a little girl from Southern Illinois whose cancer is in remission is looking for your support. I talked with Sophia Grace and her mom, Crystal, about their journey. Last year, Sophia became paralyzed from the legs down. Now, doctors had a hard time finding the cause until they went to the Children's Hospital in St. Louis. Within hours, she was diagnosed with Wilms tumor stage four, and that targets cells in the kidneys. It grew to the size of a basketball in Sophia's stomach and then moved to her spinal cord and her chest. At that moment, their lives changed. She has had cancer since she's been born when she was conceived. Um, how we missed it, I'll never know. I've always taken her to the doctor. I've always done all the things. She was kind of really always a sickly child, but nothing ever came about until it basically debilitated her. They had to stay at the hospital for three months for multiple surgeries and then live at a hotel nearby for follow up treatment. Once back home, they had to drive weekly for doctor's appointments. Crystal had to quit her job to become Sophia's sole caregiver. That's when they learned about Book for Hope. That local organization helps families in Southern Illinois and in Western Kentucky who have a child receiving cancer treatment. At first, it's gift cards to help with gas and hotel expenses. Then the group pays one bill a month. When you get a childhood cancer diagnosis, your world stops and you have to be with your child. Um, book for Hope alleviate some of the financial burden so you can be with your child. A book for hope is holding their just imagine childhood cancer walk. Money raised helps local families just like Sophia and her mom. It's a four mile walk or run in McCracken County High School. And that number though does have a special meaning. Of the national funding that goes to cancer research, children get just 4% while adults get 96%. Sophia and her mom say you should sign up. I need people to rally around Sophia. I want people to be there, her friends, her family, um, just to, you know, support her and in her cause. And her cause is childhood cancer awareness. The event is taking place on September 16th with sign up at 8 in the morning. The walk begins at 9. There will also be all you can eat Dippin' Dots. You can see them right there, some hamburgers and hot dogs face painting and a DJ. Now, if you can't walk or run, they do have chairs set up so you can just spend some time with these families. The cutoff to register is August 31st. You can also do this walk anywhere in the world. There is a virtual option. The group is also looking for companies to sponsor this walk so that way they can help more local families. I'll have this information on our Facebook, WSIL News 3. I'll also have this on our website. That's WSILTV.com. Just look for this that uh, this afternoon. 